On this episode, we're gonna check out an incredible Jack Nicholas masterpiece on the Atlantic Ocean called Hammock Beach. We're gonna sip some bourbon at the St. Augustine Distillery, and we're gonna see if the Fountain of Youth will really make us young. Are you ready to come along for the journey? Let's play through. I'm Gabriel Aloisi, founder of the Private Club Agency, and I'm lucky enough to travel to the most exclusive golf destinations around the world. I'm taking my crew on the road with me, and you're coming along too. On this show, we play the most amazing golf courses, uncover the tastiest local food and craft cocktails, and we explore the culture of each city. Welcome to Let's Play Through. All right, we're on our way to Hammock Beach. What do you know about Hammock Beach, Wade? Uh, I know that it is a very desirable location, and I'm pretty excited to play it. Ooh, oh boy. Ooh, skinny. Have you ever stepped up onto the tee box of your dream golf destination and you just couldn't hit one shot right? Oh! oh so Dude, cool. really? Oh, this ocean course is supposed to be phenomenal and very scenic. I'm, a, I'm pretty excited to give it a whack and see how we do. The ocean course at Hammock Beach is a stunning Jack Nicholas design on Florida's east coast. It's immaculately maintained and features the Bear Claw, four jaw-dropping finishing holes right on the Atlantic Ocean. It's as challenging as it is picturesque. In addition to the great golf, there's a resort pool complete with a lazy river, water slide, beach pool, a spa. Wait, what do you say we just skip golf today? Yeah, probably not. And dining options wow. from formal to casual and enough activities to keep the entire family entertained indefinitely. It's a hidden gem and one of my favorites in all of Florida. When people think of like Florida golf destinations, I don't think Hammock Beach is in that conversation very often, but it really should be. Hammock Beach is secluded, but there are a lot of ways to get here. Our drive from Orlando is just under two hours. Marianne Nicholson is the club's membership director, and she's our host for the weekend. Yeah, sure, have fun. it's always a good day at Hammock. Yeah, yeah well, well, let's do this. First of all, just tell me what you love about Hammock Beach. We opened in 2004. We're located on two and a half miles of beautiful oceanfront here. So we offer two courses to play on. We have spa, uh, restaurants, and tennis, social events for members. So you guys actually had a hurricane come through. Was it 2015, in Matthew? Um, or what year did that come through? 2016, hurricane 2016. Matthew. It devastated our ocean course. You so. resotted everything, right? You put yeah. in like a special type of grass, I think, right? Yeah, it's called platinum paspalum, and it's saltwater tolerant. So wow. we could actually water our golf course with saltwater. Do you actually do that? No, we don't. Oh, okay. Well, you could if you wanted <laughs> yeah. to. How often do you get out there and golf yourself? Oh, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make you golf today. Oh, no. I hope you're okay you with that. that. <laughs> Our room was ready, so now it was time to check in and see the digs. All right, we're gonna take a little sneak peek in one of these three bedroom condos. I've only ever stayed in a one bedroom, so I'm kind of pumped to see what it's like in a three bedroom. I got all my boys with me. Oh, private elevator? Uh -huh. Wow, are you serious? Jeez, look at this. That's this is so nice. Good. I like the private elevator, that's a sweet touch. The rooms at Hammock Beach are fantastic. We had a three bedroom suite with a beautiful big kitchen and living room. We even had an office, but nothing beats the view. Check out the pool, man. Lazy river. Yeah. Look at the golf course, it looks perfect. Yes, it's <laughs> ours today. It's all ours. So by this time, my boys are ready to hit the golf course. So it's time to do it. So I'm happy you joined us, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you've been out here? Um, probably last year in 2018. Oh my gosh, other than like member tours. <laughs> yeah. I love it though, you got the golf outfit, you're looking the part. Oh yeah, I got plenty of outfits. You told me that you're not going to play, but I think we're going to find a way to at least have you take a couple of shots. Will you please take I a couple of shots? I think I'm a good us? putter. Okay. Yeah. yeah, have you been practicing on the putt putt course out yeah. there? Yeah. <laughs> That's good speed. Oh, hit the hole. Oh, nice play. Nice. Marianne, can we get you to play a little mini golf then? Of course, I got my pink glove. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She, she, she knows her style. 
If you're not going to play well, you at least got to look good, yeah. right? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's so green. I don't know if you can see, like, yeah. it's just pure grass, like lush grass is everywhere. It is All lush. Yes. What's it like just to come to work in paradise every day? It's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I have to pinch myself. Do people get jealous of like your Instagram and stuff? They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do it. Yeah, you do it for the gram? <laughs> <laughs> If you watch enough YouTube, you think that everyone buys all the top gear, has the best equipment, but sometimes you just gotta be real. So my gloves, have you seen these things? Do you know where I get them from? The flea market. They're the only ones that carry oh, this man. brand, but feel the, like, feel the the way they grip. Oh, that's real cowhide. Uh, well, it's not though, it's <laughs> fake. It's fake, uh... How much they charge like, you? They're like nine, ten bucks. It's okay. a, it's a, they're a company out of, um, I think they're just like out of China, so they're real cheap. But I really, I got, I got one there, and I go, I've never liked this glove, you know, more than any other. This is great. <laughs> hey, closest to the pin for a beer tonight. Close to the pin for a beer. Oh sure. Ooh, not too bad. Uh, looks wow. like ten or twelve feet, I'd say. So we'll see. What would you normally play that club distance at? That shot, probably. Where's my 52? But I got a 58, but I just don't like having a full swing with it. Okay, not terrible. He's on. He's on. That puts a little pressure on me. Puts a little bit of pressure on me. My front foot in a little fade piece. Oh no. Where I could just gang it. Well, guys, I'm buying the beer. <laughs> Did I mention I didn't play well? We're trying to get up and down and I'm gonna have you putted, is that okay? Okay. <laughs> you think you got this one? Yeah. Oh, nice. oh buddy. Nice. Pretty good. Sit. Up there. As you can do, I guess. Yeah. I guess I could have if I could have landed it about a foot shorter, then it would have been really ideal. Do I use this? Yep, you got the pink glove on. <laughs> you got the pink glove. <laughs> this is all you, Marianne. Pretty good. I think she's got this, guys. Ooh. Yes, get in there. Yes. That is my partner. That is my partner. All day long. All day long. Marion, what a putt. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You knew you had it in you, didn't you? Yeah, you know what? Today is my day. I'm feeling it. <laughs>
And according to him, on the way back to uh, Hispaniola, they, uh, they heard from the different Taino Indians on the different islands, oh, if you go to that island over there, yeah. there's a, a spring of, of eternal life and eternal okay. youth and that yeah. kind of thing. Oh. So, but again, it's just how mythology and legend builds, especially in that time. The same thing with this idea, the uh, the concept of a fountain of youth just, just grew and grew and wow. grew. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to drink the water. All right. Wade, let's drink some water. All right, let's All right. give a little cheers. As we say in St. Augustine, yeah. viva! To life. Viva! <laughs> to your health! To your health! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> First reaction! <laughs> First reaction. I don't know if I want to live, if I want to be young that bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to see and do around the Fountain of Youth, from watching a blacksmith craft colonial nails, to firing period weaponry, and watching the amazing wildlife that's found all over the property. There's something for everyone here. Fire! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Smell it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It great. Hey. Now that the waters from the Fountain of Youth primed our pump, it was ready for something just a little bit harder. So we headed over to the St. Augustine Distillery and met with Matt Stevens, their general manager, for a private tour. If people have never had like a Florida bourbon, like what are some of the characteristics in the flavor profile? Uh, the Florida bourbon is going to be a lot different because we're using Florida corn and Florida wheat. Well, to be a bourbon, it has to be aged in a charred oak barrel that has not been previously used. Okay, so, so it's got to be a virgin barrel. Exactly. Right. Cool. There's three big rules. A, it has to be in America. Yep. The bourbon is America spirit. Yep. Uh, B is the barrel has to be aged in a barrel that has not been previously used. Right. Uh, and C is the corn content in your mash bill. It has to be at least 51% corn. And the unique thing about our temp, uh, temperature here in Florida, if you look, you see the uh, where the, the liquid came in. Right, which was yeah. clear at the time, mm -hmm. which was sure. whiskey. Mm -hmm. And it soaks really deep into the grains wow. uh, because of the, the temperature here mm -hmm. in Florida. Climate has a lot to do with it, and we've learned that. Right. Uh, we started off doing this in 25-gallon barrels because it ages faster, and that's what we thought would be a good thing. The bad thing is it ages way too fast in Florida. Okay. So we are only doing 53s now because what happens in that 25 gallon barrel, really strong oaky note to it, okay. which is good. Right. Some people like that. Sure. But to get a more well balanced, we decided to go with the 53 only. And that three year mark right now is, it seems to be the. It's fascinating. Spot. How often are you tasting just to kind of see where you're at and making sure that you get something consistent out of the flavor? Yeah, they're tasting pretty regular. They'll pull barrel samples and lot samples. They'll go ahead and take a whole lot and just pull samples and see where they're at. So if you want to try it before you go, you, you should. I think we should. I think it's time oh, to taste. A few actually. Right. <laughs> You're getting thirsty just listening well, to it. Let's go do it. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little bit of color difference there. It's a little caramel color to it. Or more amber. Deeper. Yeah, it's almost like a little hint of uh, purple in there, too. Yeah, it's, it's aged a little bit longer in a barrel, and that barrel had port wine in it. Yeah. So therefore, you're going to get the influence from that. Yeah, you get it right in the nose already. Yes. It's sweet. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's got like a sweet taste in the beginning, and then the finish is nice and powerful. A little kick at the that's end. Good. Yeah. It's a higher proof. It's 102 proof. Yeah, you can taste it. It's got more of a, the aftertaste is more of a little bite to it, and I like that. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to try the old fashioned, which is one part old fashioned mix, four parts our bourbon, okay. shoulder to ice. Nice. It's very simple. Okay. Very good. All right. Can't Almost wait. Up. Let's do this. Take that one, Wade. Salute. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> I like it. I've had a lot of old fashions, and that's one of the best. I got one more important question for you, Matt. How do you drink your bourbon? I like it in a glass with a cube of ice. Of course, we had to take a few bottles home. It's time to drink. <laughs> All right, now that we've experienced Hammock Beach, what's next on our hit list, Wade? Where do you want to play, man? I mean, if we're talking locally in Florida, I would love to go to Bay Hill. I played there before with you, and uh, you know, that's it's my favorite it's course. Place. So where would you like to see us play next? Make sure you let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell, and we'll catch you back on the next episode of Let's Play Through.